What's up, guys? Holy fuck, it's warm. Uh, I have to have the windows closed and put my AC on or air conditioned. <clears throat> so I'm going to babble, bubble, babble again. Because I often get messages from different kinds of, not kids, but younger people or you know, people generally who are lifting. And the first thing they ask me if, if I can answer something for free. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on out there in the world? People are uh, get, uh, charging people for just answering a f fucking questions. It's, uh, just because you have two million followers or five hundred million, five hundred thousand followers, then you think you are a better person, and you think you are a superstar. You think you are, a, and then you have to have. Uh, I think it's wrong. People cannot drive. It's wrong. Of course, if you guys want to ask me questions, you don't have to pay me for getting a fucking answer. I think it's so wrong out there in the world. Just because you have won a Olympia title or some title of posing in trunks, then you are. Uh, then you can uh, how can I then you can charge people for answering questions I think it's wrong but just because you have a title doesn't mean that you have the experience and the some of the people that are uh, uh, competing they have their own coaches making the meal plan plans for them and the training plans and stuff like that. Not everybody has the experience. So be careful guys who you ask for. And, um, there's not a fucking parking spot. I'm heading to the gym now. If some people can move. Asses. Yeah. And I'm not saying that everybody is the same. I know lots of good people that are very talented, tal talent, talented, talented of what they are doing and competing because they have experience, lots of years. But I also know people that are getting their. Uh, meal plans and training plans from their coaches and they are selling it to other people if you know what I mean and getting paid for it I think I don't, I don't think that's right if it works of course it's uh, maybe it's working but <sighs> it's so hot lumped I'm training arms today. Last time I did arms, I had uh, like normal reps. I think it was from eight to 12 reps. And I did some triceps first and then biceps. And this time, it's three days since I trained, no, four days. This time I'm going to. Um, this time I'm going to have 20 reps on triceps and then superset with biceps. The reason is because then my muscle uh, get uh, shock, the muscle shock because my muscle are not used to that kind of reps. 
I didn't I have it's like two three weeks since I've been uh, doing that reps range so my muscle get very shocked and then that's very important for muscle building to shock your muscles <laughs> if your muscle get used to every single every the same and the same exercise it won't grow so, uh, oh, okay good it's only 21 21 degrees Yeah, change up your exercise guys don't do the same over and over again and uh, don't do everything that you are reading if it says don't train your muscle two times a week or three times a week if you want to train your biceps six times a week do it see if it fits for you if it fits for you you do it if it don't fit for you don't do it Every people are, this, are not the same. If you are reading a bunch of bullshit on Instagram or something like that, don't train your biceps because the biceps is a small muscle. That's true, but if it works for you, then do it. I know people that are training biceps every day and they are huge biceps. And uh, if it if it's, uh, works for you, then go for it. Everything, people are different, so. Now I'm training my outside shoulders to, you no, know, four times a week, no, three times a week. I'm going to see if it, if it works, if I'm getting wider. And if it works, I'm continue with it. So if you guys have a, weak body part, body part body body part you can try have one uh, day off then train the same body part one day off train I don't remember the English word but uh, have one day pause and free and the next day if you guys understand what I'm saying <clears throat> so yeah today's speech I'm not made for this weather. Take me to the north. Yeah. See you guys. Yeah, and something else. Uh, for my pre-workout, I had a muffin, and uh, the the Mr. Hyde. Very positive to the Mr. Hyde. But my body is working with every pre-workout, so I don't need. A special pre-workouts it's uh, you don't need a pre-workout exactly for a good gym so good session um, uh, I can train without I just like the feeling and the pump and the focus that's all I don't need the co caffeine and I'm very motivated and uh, at the gym so if you guys think that you need the pre-workout to go to the gym you I don't think so. If you just take it because you don't want to go to the gym, then you have to think about doing something that you are going to like, or uh, maybe it doesn't fit for you the gym. Do something else. Yeah, now I'm getting dizzy on the. I have to drink some water. See you guys later. What up? I'm gonna put my windows up so the AC works. <sighs> Done with the exercise. I was alone at the gym, but I forgot my camera. So typical. Here I have my post shake, just some fast carbs and uh, ice away. And of course, I always have my tablets, so I take it with with my shake. Here I have some beef amino, just plain amino acids, some fiber tablets. Fun. I'm so shaky. 
some fiber tablets and a bit beta alanine. I take this. Fuck! I forgot my omega three. Omega three. Now I'm heading home to. Actually, I'm going to eat sushi. If you guys want to try, if you guys want to try different kinds of diets, um, just go for it and try it for like one or two months. Don't try it for just a couple of weeks and think it doesn't work. It's very important to... If it works for you, then do it. If other people say that it don't work, don't try it. They are wrong, so don't listen to them. If it fits for you, and if you think it's fun, then do it. If it's uh, eating five McDonald's meals per day, then do it. Worst thing that I can ever read or hear is other dumbass coaches saying that don't do this and don't do that. Fuck, you're not God. Don't tell me what to do or not to do. <laughs> uh, something else is that... Two days ago I was watching a guy, I don't want to say his name, or the person's name. He posted a picture of some fruits and he said that fruits are not uh, unhealthy, blah blah blah, you can eat it. That's true. And lots of things that he said was true, but the thing that he, I don't, I didn't want, I didn't was agreed on was that he say that the fruits has so low in sugar that you have to eat so much to un till it gets unhealthy. If you guys know what I mean. And then it's packed with nutrients and stuff like. That. It's true, but also with the nutrients and the fiber and stuff like that, you also have to eat lots of fruits so then if you are going to have your daily intake on nutrients and fiber then for example this is a dumb for example but say that you are eating 20 apples then you're getting your fibers and nutrients but think about your the sugar in the apples and the fruits the body normally produces sugar and if it goes, I think it was like 30 grams per day. If you, if you go higher than 30 grams of sugar per day, it's toxic to your body. So, the one thing that I was not agreed on was that he said that uh, you have to eat lots of fruits to get uh, the bad uh, effect. And that's not true. Eat your fruits. There's nothing wrong with that, but don't over eat it. You have to calculate your uh, you have to calculate your macros. And what I mean about macros is your carbs, fat, and protein. You have to calculate how you eat through the whole weekend, the whole week, the whole the whole day. If you are a guy that are waking up and if you got if you are a guy that wakes up and uh, eats 14 bread slices with cheese and all that stuff and every meal you have potatoes and lots of fats and yeah lots of those kinds of things then you are the person that are most likely uh, are um, 
gaining weight of eating fruits if you guys know what I mean but if you are a healthy uh, smart guy that wakes up don't overeat and the next meal or oh, don't overeat and thinks before he makes the food <laughs> so uh, if you got if you are that guy that goes into the kitchen and thinks uh, what do, what do my body needs instead of what do my head needs if you guys know what I mean if you are that guy then you can eat fruits then you can have the more alternatives for example like me I can have a muffin before I go to the workout I can have some fast carbs after my workout I now when I'm heading home I can have sushi after my workout that's just because I'm calculating every meal through my days and my, my week I know that when I'm waking up I go in my fridge and I'm eating or drinking what my body needs not my not what my head needs if you guys want to know what I mean I'm so shaking out from the exercise that I cannot talk and uh, yeah don't do everything same over and over again with the meals and stuff like that you have to variate your meals you have to variate everything if your body gets used to something it stops it doesn't want to build muscles it don't want to give you energy and stuff like that so yeah so if you are a guy that are thinking before you make your food food then you can eat then you can have more fun for, for example my first meal no carb my second meal no carb my third meal no carb none of my uh, uh, meals does not uh, I have carbs when I'm between my workouts for example but I don't eat like Carbs from potatoes. So I, I, most of my carbs I have, of course, I have carbs with all my meals, but it's from vegetables, not not like rice and stuff like that. And uh, that's just because I want to get all my body ripped through and low fat percent all year. So. Was something that I was going to say. Yeah, I think it's. I'm so tired. I cannot talk. Sorry for babbling. See you guys.